everyone, it's Carly Hall, and today we are going to talk more about writing fonts. My last tutorial, if you haven't checked that out, head over to my channel and watch that tutorial on using the pen adapters with your Cricut machine. In that video, a lot of people asked me and messaged me about where do you find these writing fonts or fonts that are compatible with the pen tool. So that's what we're going to go over today. I'm going to give you some good resources and kind of coach you through how to find a good font that will work with your writing utensils like pens and Sharpies and all the things we went over in the last video. Before we dive into it, I want to talk about subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you're not already subscribed, definitely subscribe because next week's tutorial, we will be talking about how to actually fill in a font, which is one of my most commonly asked questions and I'm excited to do that tutorial next week. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if that's something that you want to learn. All right, let's get started. In Design Space, quick refresher. If you click on the text tool and you type out your word, if you just change the line type, now called operation up here in the upper left-hand corner, if you change that to draw using the pen tool, you will get that outline look, which is usually not what you're going for. So let's undo that. Also quickly, um, just going over this new operations look, this used to be line type, but now they have these different functions, which is pretty cool. Um, if you have questions about that, make sure to drop them in the comments since this is new. I wanna make sure to be able to cover that in future tutorials. So we don't wanna just come up here and change it to pen. We actually would want to come up on the font toolbar here. And the only fonts that will have a writing style are fonts that are designed by Cricut. So if you come over to the Cricut tab and then filter to writing, all of these fonts will have a single line font. You can choose any of them. So even though this Babette font looks like it's a thicker font, you can click on it. And we wanna change the font style to writing up here at the top and you can see now it's a single stroke and that's what your pen will follow. So if you're looking for a font that has a writing style, you're really limited to just the Cricut fonts. I know a lot of you don't use the Cricut fonts and want to be able to download fonts onto your computer, so let's show you how to do that. The first place I want to show you is the Silhouette Design Store. So you can just type in silhouettedesignstore.com. I will also link to any of the fonts that I show you today and you can open this store. Now I know this is a Cricut tutorial, but you can use Silhouette Design Store fonts with your Cricut. So to get started, we can search. I would recommend searching for sketch fonts. And you can see that a whole bunch of sketch fonts appear. And some of these are actually filled in. So this one is actually colored in. This one is multiple lines, so it kind of looks colored in too. And you also have the monoline or single stroke fonts, which will look the most like handwriting. So you can go through and purchase any of these fonts. Full price, they're $2.99, which is a great deal for a font. I know a lot of people want to find free fonts, but I'm going to show you that sometimes free fonts aren't always the best. So you can come through here and choose any fonts that you want to use. I already purchased this sweet and condensed, so we're going to click on it. And if you haven't purchased it yet, it will put you through a purchase flow and you can create a free account. And then you can download that font right through the purchase flow. If you need a commercial use font, so for example, you are selling your final products and you need a commercial license, make sure to purchase that. Again, really good price for a commercial license. Or if you're using it for personal use, just make sure that you get the personal use license. So once you've purchased it, you're going to click download. And you can see here, it starts to download. It will be a zip file and when you click it, it will unzip and it will show you a folder that looks just like this. If you can't find that folder or it didn't appear on the bottom dock, you can come to your downloads window and double click on that folder. Inside you'll find a license agreement as well as the actual font. Go ahead and double click on the font and then you have the option to install that font. So we're going to click install and your font book will open or your font program if you're on a Windows and it will download. So now it's on our computer ready to be used. And when you come inside Design Space, 
we'll type out sweet and condensed. So right now it's typing in the last font I used, Babette. We'll just bring this down to a smaller size so you can see. Now if I go to find the font that I just installed, we're going to clear all our filters. And it's a system font since I downloaded it, downloaded it and installed it onto my computer. We're going to search for sweet and condensed. And you can see right here that it is already installed and on there. If for whatever reason it doesn't show up, you may need to close out of Cricut Design Space and then reopen it so that it loads into the program. But you can see right here, it's a single line sketched. I'm going to draw all of these. Let's do a 50 point size. So we'll test these out at the end of the video so you can see what they look like drawn. We'll make another copy and we'll choose another font so I can show you a few other options. So again, this is the Silhouette Design Store. There's tons of great options in here. We have, a, we have even drawings. You have so many good, cute images that you can use with your Cricut. These ones were really cute over the holidays. All right, so after we found that, now we're going to head over to Etsy and we're going to go to Dixie Type Co and I will put a link in the video description as well so that you can find this font artist. Again, these are going to cost you money to use, but they're designed to work really well with the pen. So in my opinion, they're worth every penny. And she has some sketch fonts and you can click on the sketch font tab. And she has four sketch fonts right now, but she is working on more. And then there's also bundles. So if you go to her bundles, and then you can see that she has her sketch font bundle available for $13 for all of those. So you can either buy them one at a time or buy the bundle. So all of these are super cute. Honeymoon sketch is my favorite right now. And you'll just go through the exact same purchase flow where you'll purchase it and then download it and install it on your computer. So I've already done that. So we are going to change this to honeymoon sketch so you can see what it looks like. Now, one thing I didn't explain on the last one, which it's actually good that her font doesn't work when it's in the cut mode, is that when you're using system fonts, you do need to set the line type or the operation to draw. So on both of these, I need to come up to the operations tab and choose the pen, and for this one as well. So you can see that before, let me undo that, it didn't really appear, which was a good indication that I didn't do a step correctly and I needed to do something else. So we're going to come up here again under draw and we're going to use that pen tool. Now you have options for your colors of your pen. So if you want to see a different preview of what all the different pens look like, we're using an extra fine pen today. I think it's purple, we'll do plum. And you can see that it will give you a preview. And I'm just going to change the other one to the same. So it just gives you a cute preview of what it will look like. So now we have two paid fonts. This one's from the Silhouette Design Store and this one's from Etsy, Dixie Type Co. And now I'm going to show you a search on Defont, which is a free font website. So we're gonna to navigate to defont.com. On Defont, you can search for a couple of different things. We can start by searching for Sketch. And you'll see that there are some different fonts that come in. Not exactly what we're looking for, although KB Sketch would work. So let's download that one. This one may even work too. I'll download both of these so we can try them out. And these are free for personal use. So again, if you need a commercial license, you'll wanna make sure to look up that font and that font artist so you can purchase the correct license. So again, we'll just go through the installation process for both of those. And install those on the computer. So we'll do KB sketch first. And oddly enough, when I made a copy of that, it changed it back to a basic cut. So that's something to be aware of. We wanna make sure that it's still in the pen and it changed the color as well. Interesting. All right, maybe I didn't make a copy of the correct one. So we are going to search for KB Sketch. And 
And when I changed the font, I went back to cut again. So make sure to pay attention to your operations and I'll change that to plum as well. All right, so that time it copied the draw and the color. So let's see if I can change this to that HB font. It says that it's installed. So if it's not showing up, let's save this project and I'll show you what to do. Sketch tests. And then we're going to completely quit out of Cricut Design Space. So up in the upper left-hand corner, click quit. We're gonna quit that. And then since we can see it installed on our computer, we're going to reopen Cricut Design Space and then open that last project that we were working on. Customize that. And let's see if that did the trick here. There we go. So if you see that your fonts are not installing or they're not showing up in the list, that's just a quick little tip. Close everything out and reopen. Just make sure to save your project. All right, so again, when I change the font, it automatically is setting it to that basic cut. So you'll wanna pay attention to that. So we are going to make sure to draw that with the pen and again, change the color. So that they're all the same pen. Okay, so we have four options. The last option I wanted to show you was searching for monoline fonts. And you can see that these ones are not true monoline fonts. It's going to follow the outline. It's going to create a bubble. But if you find one that looks really skinny, like this one, monoline script or bridal shower monoline script, you may be able to try them. So I already know that this one doesn't work, but I'm going to show you why it doesn't work. And then we'll also download this font as well. And then let's see if it installed. So it didn't install, so we will make two copies and then we will close out again. So once again, save your project. So my recommendation will would be to make sure all of your fonts are downloaded before you start working on your project. Once you've relaunched, now again, we can go over to our fonts and search to see if those are showing up now. Great, that one is. And then we'll do this one as well. Oops. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom in so we can see what's going on. And right now it's set to basic cut and we're going to change it to the pen. And you can see that it's not a true monoline font and you actually do see that outline, which is not the end of the world because if your font is small enough, it may look like a monoline font. So I'm going to show you what those draw like. So we're gonna adjust the letter spacing since this is a script font. So we're just going to move those in closer and you can adjust these to your heart's content. Once you're happy with how they look, I'm almost happy, now I'm happy, you can weld them together. So if you zoom in super close, you can see that the pen will draw the end of the letters. So if we weld them, I'll show you what happens. It will make it so that it's just the outline on the edges. Again, I know this isn't the exact look we're going for, but we'll see how it turns out when the Cricut actually draws it. Oh, on this one, you can see this was a free font and it actually doesn't have capital letters, it looks like. So we're going to change these ones to lowercase, which is another reason why I just like to purchase fonts because I know I'm going to get the lowercase letters, the uppercase letters, and the punctuation marks. I bet you this doesn't even have punctuation. Kind of a caveat when you're using free fonts, I like supporting graphic designers, designers and illustrators that are designing fonts and $2.99 to $6 is a really, really decent price for a font. 
Um, for my commercial licenses, for my fonts that I'm buying from Creative Market, sometimes they're upwards of $80. So definitely check out some of these font artists. All right, so we're going to do the same thing with the bridal shower. I'm going to adjust the letter spacing until they are touching and we'll set it to draw so we can see that this one is also not a true monoline font. And then we'll ungroup that and start adjusting the letters so that they overlap. So again, this is all personal preference. You can adjust them to be as tight or as far away from each other as you'd like. And then once you're happy, you're going to select everything and weld it together. Now, this was the font that I tried earlier and I knew it had a lot of issues. And you can see that when I welded it together, it actually deleted the D. And what I typically do is undo it and make it larger and then it will solve that problem. But what I noticed about this font, if I change it back to a cut, it's actually a very poorly designed font. You can see that there's little gaps where things are overlapping. So again, just another thing to pay attention to when you're downloading free fonts. Some fonts are designed just to be printed out and these fonts, when you're looking at them, may not work with your cutting machine. So I am going to adjust this again. We'll make a copy. I'm going to show it to you two ways. So we can just attach this together and change it to a pen drawing. And we can see how it looks because they might overlap and it might be small enough to where you won't be able to see that. And then I'll also do a weld, even though we know we're going to lose that D. I tried everything I could to make it bigger, adjust it, make it further apart. And every single time it just deleted that D. So we're going to change that to draw as well. And then I need to change all these back to that purple color so that we can use the same pen on everything. All right, so we have all of our test fonts that we're going to test today. And I'm just, go I'm just going to align them all so that they're nice and organized. We'll align them to the left and then just attach them all together so that they stay in place when we draw them. Okay, so now that we have everything attached together, I'm going to draw this twice. I want you to see it a little bit bigger. So the first one we'll do, we'll, we'll keep it this size and then I'll make a copy of it and shrink it down because a lot of the time when we're using a sketch fonts, we end up writing pretty small so that we can address an envelope or write inside a card. So we, we may not need to make it as big and that will actually make those outline fonts look like monoline fonts. So let's see if this will fit on one page. We have eight and a half by 11. Okay, perfect. So I'll align all those to the left and then we're going to detach the first group and then attach all of them together. All right, so this is ready to go. We'll save it again. And now we're going to send it to the maker. That is a huge project because a couple of those fonts I wasn't able to weld together. So the Cricut doesn't love that. And then we will continue on and connect to our machine. These fonts can be used with makers, explorers, joys, all of the machines. And we are going to be writing on copy paper. All right, on the machine side, we have our maker. I like to slide the star wheels over just so that the ink doesn't smear. And then if you didn't watch my last video, again, check that out. I will show you how to use pens other than the Cricut pens. But for this one, we are going to use a Cricut pen. And I just like to prime it. So I'm just gonna draw in the corner of this piece of paper to make sure that the ink is flowing. And then I will secure this one into clamp A and close that and then load my mat into the machine. Once your machine starts flashing, we'll click that and I will time-lapse this. So I'll show you a little bit of how the real speed is. And then I don't think there is an option on the computer to draw faster. Let's see. I don't see an option to draw in two times. So we are going to do this regular speed. And so I'll show you what it looks like real time and then I'll speed it up.
All right, so the drawing just finished and I wanna show you the results. I noticed a few things that I wanna talk about. So the first one is obviously that name is incorrect. This one's the HNB sketch. Um, I forgot to change that. And then the other thing I wanted to mention, I will show you. We have Sweet and Condensed, which is a font from the Silhouette Design Store. And I wanted to mention that this font up here is not a true monoline font. I don't think any of the Silhouette fonts are, but you can see that you really can't tell. So even though it's an outline, they're really tight together. So they don't have that bubble look, which I really like. The only true monoline fonts that I found, I'll do a link in the description. They were a little tricky to figure out how to use. And honestly, I didn't feel like they were worth the hassle when I felt like these fonts looked just as great. So again, the first one is from Silhouette and you can see it looks really good when it's tiny too. And then the second one is from Dixie Type Co, which again, one of my faves. And you can see that even though hers isn't a true monoline font, none of these are, they all look like they were written and they don't have that bubble letter look. So our free fonts, KB Sketch and HB Sketch, and I don't know how to say that, and the Bridal Shower monoline. You can see that there's issues with these ones because you can see the bubbles. I'm trying to get this as flat as possible. But you can see that they're not filled in. So like I said, make sure you're subscribed because I will show you how to fill them in next week with your machine. And then down when you get smaller, when you draw them in a smaller size, they do look like their monoline fonts. So that, there is that option. And you can see that even though the D, there was that issue where we couldn't weld it together, you can attach it together and get that monoline look. So again, let me show you all of them so you can just quickly see what they look like. This did take a while, so obviously patience is key with the fonts. You can use these to print from your printer as well, but I like using sketch fonts to draw on materials that I can't print on, like acrylic or mirror acrylic, even wood with a Sharpie. So again, check out that other tutorial so that you know how to use those adapters. I'll link to all of these fonts in the video description, but I think they all turned out really great. The H B sketch font, I think looks really awesome. It does look like it's filled in, but that did take a really long time. So let me know what questions you have in the comments. Again, stay tuned for that tutorial next week where I will show you how to fill in these fonts so that if you do run into that bubble outline look, what you can do to solve for that issue. All right, I think that's everything I wanted to cover. As always, you can find everything in the video description and hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. All right, I'll see you in the next video.